Hello guys, welcome to another project. In this project, I'll show you how to make an IoT based security system that can send you an email when there's an intruder. So uh, there are lots of uh, projects already covered based on the ESP8266 module. This project is also based on the ESP8266, which is a Wi-Fi module. And this project does not include any other microcontrollers like an Arduino or PIC. So let me get you to the circuits. The circuit diagram is this one. So the circuit diagram basically has two voltage regulators. One is a 3.3 volt regulator and another is a 5 volt regulator. This 3.3 volt regulator is used to power the ESP module and the 5 volt regulator is used to power a voice module and a PIR sensor. The purpose of a voice module here is when there is an intruder or when there is someone you, ca you have to notify about, you can record a voice and you can play it whenever he, is, he or she is present. For example, you install this system on your office front door and, and your office is locked or is on holiday today. When someone visits your office, this module will automatically send an email to your uh, respected email ID and also inform that concerned person a recorded voice message which was which has been already recorded by you. So I'll quickly show you the hardware and I'll also demonstrate how it works. And then I'll take you to this. I'll explain the circuit and the hardware part. So I have already completed the hardware and it is here. So as I said, the hardware basically consists of two voltage regulators. So this is the main board and this is the voice module and this is the PIR sensor. So as I said, it basically has two voltage regulators. One is a 3.3 volt regulator, which is done using an LM317. And another is a 5 volt regulator, which is done using a 7805. And this is the ESP8266 module. So all these modules are attached using a female and male Berg stick. So I can remove and show you everything. And we have two transistors, one over here and here, for the two IO pins of the ESP module. So I'll quickly demonstrate how it works. Let me plug in all these back. If you want to know what this module does or how to work with it or how to work with the PIR sensor, how to make this circuit and all those things, the complete explanation will be given in an article which you can find in the link of the description of this video. So this module will come with a speaker it will come with a small speaker so its output won't be that much audible so i have just used another 8 ohm speaker which is of higher voltage rating so that the audibility is high okay now everything's ready so before i power on this i should remove these two switches because when the esp is being powered on there should not be any load connected to its i opens so i should remove these two switches over here and then power on the module so as you can see a red LED goes high indicating that the module is power and then I can close these switches another feature in this module is this PIR sensor or the voice module will not be powered unless and until you activate this alarm so this alarm can be activated and deactivated remotely from a website which i'll be demonstrating soon so only when you activate this or on this alarm the power consumption will be moved to the pir module and the voice module so till then you will consume a very little bit of amount little amount of current and there won't be any unwanted emails to your mail id so only when you arm it there will be a mail id sorry a mail to your mail id okay so let me open the browser as you can see the ESP is powered on now I can go to my browser and feed in a IP address of this ESP module so I already know the IP address of this ESP module if you want to know how to get the IP address of your module then you have to visit the previous tutorials which is getting started with ESP8266 you can get those tutorials in circuitdigest.com visit circuitdigest.com and search for ESP8266 and you will find all the tutorials related to it so once you know what the IP is just enter your IP so once the IP is entered, you will get this web page. So this web page is a HTML code which has been already programmed into your ESP module. I'll also explain the code soon. So this 
IP address will take you to this web page and when you click on arm the alarm will be activated until then you won't have any uh, voice uh, outputs or emails via my ID so let me connect the speaker and click on arm So I am not sure if you heard it but as soon as I click on arm there will be a trigger that is because uh, every time you arm this a power supply is freshly sent to the board and you will get a false trigger for the first time and an mail ID, a mail ID will also receive a mail. Yes we have a mail. So now let me be still so that there's no trigger uh, let's move to the camera and okay and i'll place my microphone over there So you can see since I kept the mic over there, there was a trigger. Now let me move my hand and see if there is another trigger created. So now let me move my hand over it. Okay, we again had a trigger. We should have got a mail to a mail ID. And as you can see, there was a voice output as well. So let me go ahead and create another trigger by just moving my hand into the area alert. yes so this is it guys now I'll turn it off because since I'm mo so alert. I'll, I'll be alert. triggering it whenever alert. I move my hand so detected. as you can see there was four triggers As you can see there were four triggers and so we should have received four emails so let's go to a mail id and check yes okay i got another mail which is not related to this tutorial let's skip that other than that we have received four emails which says intrusion warning from esp8266 let's click on a mail and see what the body is it says an intrusion was detected on may 17 which is today at 104 as you can see the time is 105 now so it was created back when it was 104 and uh, it, it, this message is customizable so i just customize that there might be someone on your friend door please check by circuit adjust so you can make your own custom text messages so whenever you arm it only then the voice module will get activated or your mailing system will be activated now i'll show you how you can change the voices so i have made a pre-recorded voice using the natural sound recording software but you can customize it with your own voice as well so i'll show you how to do that let's open the camera and here we are as you can see this is the voice module you can simply record anything by clicking on this record button and test if it was recorded properly by clicking on this play e button the play l button stands for play loop which will repeatedly play whatever has been recorded this module is capable of recording anything for 10 seconds more than that it, it will just shut down and it won't record anything so anything between 10 seconds you can record the message and you can play it and okay i am back with the circuit diagram and the code as i said earlier i'll quickly quickly explain you what the circuit diagram is so the circuit diagram consists of two transistors and two resistors these resistors are the base current limiting resistors and these two transistors are used to switch the input pins of the esp module so one pin of the esp module acts as an input and the other acts as an output this output pin will control the power that is being provided to the pir sensor and the voice module and this input pin will get to know whenever the pir sensor detects something or not something it should be someone because the pir sensor only senses living human beings based on their heat emitted from the body so when someone is detected 
the ESP module will be triggered by using this transistor. So this transistor will get the power supply 3.3 volt from the mains uh, from the LM317 and give it to the ESP whenever the base is triggered by this PIR sensor. And the same over here. So this transistor is used to uh, used to provide power supply to the PIR sensor and the voice module. So whenever I go to my web page and click on ARM, this pin GPIO0 will go high, which in turn makes the PIR sensor and the voice module to be powered. Now let me show you the code. The concept behind this code is to simply make the ESP module work as an access point as well as as a station and we can connect it to our home router here my home router is VPAS home and the password is something which you should change it to your home router's name and your password and then I have a small HTML code over here which basically creates the website in the background and then I toggle the switches so whenever I press uh, on alarm whenever I click on the button arm so this piece of code will run which will make the GPIO 2 pin high and whenever I press this arm this will make the GPIO pin 2 to go low and now whenever I get a trigger from the PIO module I should send an email to my email ID so how do I do that I use a website called IFTT which stands for if that then this oh I'm sorry it should be if this then that what was it actually just give me a second <laughs> then that okay that's what it stands for IFTT stands for if this then that okay so what I basically do is if a trigger is being given by the PIR sensor I call a particular URL which was created by using this IFTT and then this URL in turn will trigger an email to my email ID so what you have to do is go to this website called IFTT and log in so I have already logged in you can sign up or log in if you already have an account and then click on search go to my applets and create a new applet so before creating a new applet you have to make sure that you have already uh, I'll also show that click on search go to and then you should have a button called connect over here so click on connect and then search for gmail and click on connect you should have a connect button over here so, and simply click on connect I, I i'm not getting that because i have already connected it so once you connect it you'll get this type of page so once connected you can go to my applet and then create a new applet by clicking on the button in this right corner so i have already created an applet let me show that for you so if a maker event 123 123 is just an event name it can be any random name i have simply given it as 123 then send an email to my email id which is this thing and then you can actually customize it so click on settings and then you can make your own event name for example uh, i have given 123 over here you can name it whatever security system esp whatever is your wish you can name it over there and then send an email from mail to Ashwanth. This you can send emails only from the mail ID which you have synced with the Gmail services which I showed you just before. Then you have to provide the event name which is one two three again. And then two, you can send it to any email address. I ha it's not that you have to send it to the same ID. You can send it to any email ID. If you have multiple email IDs, you can separate them by using a comma. But for tutorial purpose, I have just used my email ID as well. And then the subject which can be customized to anything and then the body of the mail which we saw which we saw um, let me show that for you okay, as you can see it says an intrusion was detected on may 17 sorry may 17 2017 at 104 how do i do with that is an intrusion was detected and all there is an event called occurred at so you have to use this to know at which time it occurred and then from your iot device all these things are typed by me and you'll get the same thing to your mail id and then click on save so once this is done your event is ready for dispatch so how you can create how you can dispatch this event is you have to go to maker webhooks again 
and click on documentation here you have to enter the event name if you could remember properly our event name was 123 so if you have customized it you have to change it over here as well so once that is done you have to copy this url and this is the url which will trigger your email so the url can be pasted in your audino code and uh, uh, how to do that i will explain you shortly so this is the url which basically triggers the email so what you have to do it we have to simply call it from a esp module so as you can see here i have used the url over here your url will be different you will have a different api key and you will have a different event name but other than that everything will remain same once you got the url you can simply copy it from there and paste it over this page and then upload your program to your esp module so before connecting it to the actual board if you have an ftdi board which you should in order to program your esp module after programming click on the serial monitor your serial monitor will show you the ip address of your esp module and it will also show you if it was successfully able to connect to your web maker webhooks url so that's it guys if you have any doubts you can read the complete article which is linked by the description of this video you can go there read it and if you still have any doubts you can use the comment section of that article that's it for now thank you